Hello students welcome to Om Institute and welcome to this next episode of Beyond the Rank yes in this episode i have Mohammad Halim with me all india rank 20 electronics and communication engineering in the gate 2025 examination so congratulations mohammad halim for your success in gate examination and uh, welcome to the om institute youtube channel thank you sir so uh mohammed before we start up any uh, discussions on your preparation strategy on entire your gate 25 preparation i would like you to introduce yourself anything that you would like to mention about you to the audience oh, yes sir uh, my name is mohammed hadi uh, i am an undergrad and i am a graduate student from electronics and communication engineering from uh, tkm college of engineering my native place in kerala okay. and uh, this is my third attempt in gate so i already attempted for get uh, the previous two years and i qualified for all of them but this time i prepared well i, I had a six month preparation plan so i think i prepared well for gate so i think that preparation helped me a lot to achieve this plan okay and get into this plan. right so as uh, so as you mentioned uh, mohammed this is your uh, third attempt so the previous two attempts uh, were uh, when did you attempt i mean when you were in the college and when you passed out can we talk yes, about sir. that yes, sir my first attempt was in my third year okay and i didn't have much preparation that time sir because my thought process was like that oh this is your first attempt so you don't have to prepare well okay the, there are already two chances ahead two okay. more chances ahead so this time you can take it Uh, take it as an opportunity to uh, familiarize the environment, the exam. So, my first attempt was without any preparation, but still, when the results came, I was a bit surprised. Like I, uh, I call actually qualified for the exam, okay. and it was a good try. So, I think that motivated me a lot to go for a second attempt. Okay. Uh, but what happened at the second attempt is that um, it was my final year, and my academic is a bit hectic. and mm-hmm. i didn't manage my final year project along with the gate preparation so due to all these things my uh, i couldn't uh, improve much on my gate rank i could barely improve my gate rank so and that day uh, i think uh, it is good for me to go in, go for a third attempt sir. so i took a drop for a year and there's one other reason for me uh, also uh, like so that uh, uh like um when i uh, go for uh, after my second attempt okay. uh, what happened is that uh, i joined uh, one of my institute one of the prestigious institutions in our state called ias iasp yes yes you mentioned to me about that okay yeah so that that is something interesting happened with you okay yeah so please continue uh, yes sir so uh, what happened is that um, i joined uh, my uh, i got admission for from iisc trivandrum and it was my favorite branch also like uh, in uh, microelectronics and vlsa so but what happened is that uh, due to one small mistake from my part uh, i couldn't uh, pay one admission fees like i that was a small mistake from my part so what happened is that my admission got cancelled so i was a bit upset at that time uh, because i don't know what to do for future like i ha- i had no other plan Okay. so i i didn't expect that outcome so uh, what happened is that I, i think i can go for another attempt in gate because that was the only way to does not uh, which uh, not wasting my one year sir right i go for a third attempt yeah and, correct and 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 we say na sometimes whatever happens is for good only so although iast is a, also a prestigious institute but uh, unfortunately you could not complete the admission process but now most likely you can see yourself in iisc or iit bombay any of the colleges uh, you know uh, which are the top uh, institutes of our uh, country so uh, what uh, is your target now after rank 20 is mtech or psus and if it is mtech which college you are targeting yes, sir i am planning to do mtech uh, my aim is to pursue a career in uh, microelectronics and vlsa okay digital profile so i want to uh, uh, get admission in colleges like iisc bangalore and iit bombay okay and also in iit delhi uh, those okay. are my top preferences okay uh, so great mostly you will get uh, all of them okay so most likely so you have to you you have to decide ki which college you are going to pick up finally uh, once you get the offer so uh, 
uh mohammed ali now let's talk about your preparation journey as you mentioned you know you have written uh, gate in the college time also although they were not serious attempts your major serious attempt was this only gate 25 after you passed out in college but having seen the gate multiple times let's talk about uh, especially how concepts are important uh, you know if, if any students uh, wants to start afresh for the gate preparation how seriously they should take the concepts because many students they you know only directly jump to the problem practice which i also believe it's not that appropriate so your experience with respect to concepts and practice in the gate examination oh yes sir uh, actually i had a six month preparation plan uh, for gate 2025 okay and actually what i have done is that uh, i uh, put aside all my uh, like practice tests and pyq solving at the last like Uh, my i i prioritize by uh, the concept training and the completion of syllabus mainly okay. because after that only we can uh, solve the pyqs and uh, take practice tests i think that is better okay. so first we have to build concepts okay. like uh, for uh, it is a timely process you have to take much time uh, and then you have to take practice tests and solve pyqs okay. i think that is a better strategy so uh, so uh, yeah, that is actually you know getting into the depth of the topic then you will be able to uh, handle every type of questions yes, okay. so uh, with respect to concepts were you able to cover the entire syllabus or anything that troubled you yes, sir i uh, i think i am able to cover the entire syllabus okay. like i didn't if any part uh, like willingly uh, i think i completed the entire syllabus um, so and uh, what happened is that at my final uh, i started taking online test series at my final month and uh, at that time also i am improving my uh, concepts uh, like some questions i attempt i didn't know the answer so i refreshed that concept that particular concept on the top so at that time also i am improving the uh, my uh, like the concepts uh. okay i watch um, you online youtube lectures a lot and uh, particularly the control systems the class on control systems uh, and electromagnetic and also in mathematics i watched the uh, i watched your classes on control systems and i think that helped me a lot in my uh, preparation so okay okay G- great to know that it added some value to your preparation so when it comes to practice you know after you know getting hold of your concepts clearly you went to practice so you know what was a major source of practice for the gate exam yes sir uh, my like uh, my major source i collected study materials from uh youtube and all other websites available for me so uh i took a uh, study materials from various sources sir. so and um, I, i also took practice tests from online okay. so that was my major source and i also prepared uh, study notes sir, like short notes from this and i think that helped me a lot okay. because uh, revising uh, each time the entire syllabus is very difficult so correct correct uh, what i uh, done by what i have done is that i revised these short notes that i prepared each time mm. and it will be very it was very easy for me that uh, okay. so studying those short notes okay 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 yeah so uh, great so in the practice part did you also include pyqs in your practice other than the study materials you mentioned uh, yes sir uh, uh, actually the practice part also include pyqs okay like i uh, prioritize pyqs more than uh, the other question okay Uh, I think we like to sir a bit more uh, tricky and concept based. Correct, correct. Another question. Yeah, so, and you also get to know how what type of questions are exactly being framed by IITs and IISC. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So solving PYQs uh, did they add to any confidence in your preparation? Yes, sir. Uh, it uh, very much boosted my confidence, sir. Like uh, uh, before solving those, before attempting those PYQs, I I think that oh this is not up to my level. Like. Okay. I I couldn't answer uh, such questions, so I have that type of thing, sir. But after solving such PYQs, my thought process changed. Like I I began to think that okay, I can also solve this type of question, grade level question. So it's not a problem. Uh, it's actually a okay cakewalk for me. Okay, yeah, sir. So that extra confidence will always uh, keep you going. Yes, ah, right correct so uh, after you know the practice and uh, the concept part uh, did you also i mean you have learned concepts and you have done practice you know from pyqs from other materials also so did you also try giving some mock tests i yes, started actually uh, i started mock tests around uh, 20 full length mock 
Actually, I started preparing uh, for uh, online subsidies at the last month. Okay. At uh, January. Actually, okay. I wrote, I wrote around uh, 20 full length mock tests and also some small uh, short syllabus tests. Sir. Okay. okay. So that was my. So, so uh, as you mentioned, you have written around 20 full length mock tests. So, how the mock test did they place any any important role in your rank improvement process? Yes, sir. The mock test play a, a crucial role in my preparation, sir. Because okay. uh, actually, before attending those mock tests, my time management was very poor. Like I wasted a lot of time in uh, answering uh, questions that I couldn't uh, make it correct, and I later skipped. So my time management was actually poor at that time, and my, my accuracy is also very poor. So what happened is that when I uh, started taking mock tests, my time management and accuracy improved very much. Okay. So I think everyone has to take, everyone who are uh, seriously preparing for GATE have to take uh, online practice the series. Correct. So that they can improve. Yeah, at least that time management part, because uh, in the exam day, we have a lot of pressures and, you know, although three hours is a sufficient time uh, to solve uh, the GATE 65 questions, but uh, provided that extra pressure and atmosphere around you, unless and until you are used to that, uh, you know, you know. Sometimes you cannot perform on the exam day if you are having the lack of that type of test series practice, right? So uh, towards the end of your preparation, I mean, especially in the last, I would say, four to five mocks, roughly, uh, how many marks were you able to get in that full length mock test? Okay, sir. Uh, my, uh, I, I can actually score around sixty-eight to uh, seventy-three. Like I, the maximum I got in the mock test was around seventy-three, sir. Okay, right. Uh, but uh, that I'm, uh, but the results came also in that range also. Right. Uh, so, what exam, is the exact marks in gate exam? Uh, yes, sir. I got a score of seventy four in gate actually. Okay. So right. Actually, the, the mock test that I attended was a bit advanced level than the original gate test. Sir. Correct. Correct. Sometimes it will happen. So, more or less means whatever marks you were getting, uh, almost similar marks reflected in the gate exam. And that is why I asked you especially the last four to five mocks. Okay. Because maybe in the beginning, it's not that perfect. Okay. You will slowly, slowly improve. But you know, whatever the trend of your last mock test most likely resembles the gate exam marks. Okay. So you, you go into the exam hall with an idea ki, yes, what your potential is and how much uh, your target score in the gate exam, you know, should be. Right. So as you mentioned, uh, you know, while your preparation and your conceptual conceptual preparation journey, you focused on all subjects almost. But uh, was there any favorite subjects for you or was there any weak subjects for you? Uh, uh, my favorite subject was uh, digital circuits. Okay. Uh, because for me, it was very easy okay. to uh, like play with uh, the logic gate. Uh, I, I very much love learning that subject. Sir. So. I think my favorite subject was uh, digital circuits, and uh, there is no subject that I think it is weak. But uh, uh, for me, some subjects take took time okay. for me to study, and I think uh, communication was one of them. I I took uh, more time uh, for studying communication systems and also analog circuits okay. than other subjects. So I think it was uh, like not yeah, a weak. Of, of course, I mean. Uh... Uh, some subjects will take more time, but the idea is, okay, you are ready to give that more time, but uh, yes, you have to get a command on that subject. Yes, sir. That is how it is. Great. So, uh, you know, you have planned your preparation systematically. I mean, you have done all subjects, although if some subjects are taking time, you have given it enough time so that finally you come up with good marks, as you mentioned, 74 leading to rank 20. And uh, yeah, even for practice, you focused on several PYQs and other study materials and etc. So uh, overall, a very motivating journey, uh, you know, as you also mentioned that uh, unfortunately, due to a small mistake, you could not complete your admission process for IAST. That might have been, I understand how disheartening at that point of time, but it happened for good for you. And now uh, you are one of the best rankers of electronics and communication engineering. And uh, now we hope that you get all the future uh, plans uh, as you want, I, either IIC or IIT Bombay or IIT Delhi, all are good and you are going to get, uh, get them. So uh, wishing you all the very best in all your future endeavors. Uh, so any, any specific uh, advice from your side for the future aspirants, those who are going to target the gate 25 or gate 26 examination? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So first, uh, I think the most important uh, part of the preparation is first you have to set a goal like uh, you have 
uh, you should have a clear idea of what you can score look how much you how much you have to score in game so, so you have to first prepare uh, first set a goal and i think uh, that setting a goal will reflect on your efforts and preparation later and then uh, you should have enough time it's not about uh, the total time but the amount of effective time that you invest in game preparation and also uh, i think uh, attending practice tests uh, like full and mock tests is a very important part of your uh, game preparation and uh, also you have to build concepts first and then you have to go for practice tests so and consistency is key sir it will make a huge difference in your uh, results correct 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 so yeah uh, great to know that uh, halim and uh, thanks for your message to the future aspirants uh, the intent of making these videos is so that the future aspirants get insights and benefit uh, because at some point of time you know students feel demotivated and uh, you know by looking into uh, talks with you or other toppers you know they might get you know more motivation towards uh, their dream of cracking the gate upcoming gate examination so uh, thank you once again mohammad alim for joining home institute and uh, we wish you all the best uh, for all your future endeavors and plans